and we're back. Okay, that was qu short and sweet because we need to change chairs over here. And our first host up today is Kelly Cantu, CantuFashions.com. Kelly is a personal and corporate stylist and personal shopper. She's kind of a, I compare her to Rachel Zoe. As she specializes in high-end and designer clothing. But she also believes that couture and high-end clothing, there's a lot of deals out there. She stays on top of them. And she gets quality items and knows when the sales are. And you have a lot of customers that actually, you know, I mean, you, you, you have people that, you, that are needing people to go out and shop for them. And I, I can't think of something that's funner. <laughs> well, and a lot of people just don't like dealing with the staff in stores you know they just they don't have time to do it so and so you, you, you and, and and she's just really good at it so so hopefully you know I, we're coming very close and by the way that you remember our we're going to be getting a, a makeover so, some you know person here and so the people are sending uh nominations in and you need to do that live at celebrityuradio.tv but you'll be helping them so i'm going to let her talk she's going to be talking to a guest and i'll let you introduce them here you are kelly okay well first i'm going to get started with the, the sales that are going on this week and then a couple of events that we have going on uh, swirl.com is having denim days it's 85 percent off the the brand of, of jeans and then uh Saks is having 40 percent off their clearance and 30 percent off with the item coupon the so yes so email me and i'll uh forward you that that you have to print this little thing out and i'll send it to you um also if you get on my twitter at kmcantu i just posted uh neiman marcus is having it's already 75% off of it's at their last call, which is oh, everything's already 75% off. But if you get the, the little post I just posted on Twitter, it's another 30% off. So print it out wow. and you can take it in. Um, and then we've got Beyond Basics is 25% off. It's men and women's clothing. So that's great. And then Saks also has a whole uh, set, like little section on their website for Mother's Day gifts, $150 and under. So check that out. It's pretty good. And that's always nice to get something from SAC. Yeah. So everybody likes that. Little SAC. <laughs> uh, another really neat web. Yeah. yeah. Another little website I found um, for those of you that ride bikes. It's these really neat um, helmets. I never wanted to wear a helmet because I thought they looked funny. But um, if you go to gotryiton.com, they've got really stylish helmets and they're really cute and fun, oh, colorful. Interesting. Yeah. So maybe you'll you'll want to wear one now. Yeah. Um, this weekend is the Kentucky Derby. Uh, Lee Park is doing Day at the Races, so check that out. And then also May fifteenth, the Canine Meets Couture is going to be. It's at six thirty. Uh, it's put on by the Fashion Gallery or Fashion Group International. This is going to be the second year. Last year there were two hundred people that attended, thirty five pieces, and six thousand dollars in grants to small animal rescue groups. So, um, oh, wow. yeah, so it's a great cause and it's a lot of fun. Now we're going to talk to Gwen. She is the author of nerdyperv.com and she also has been working with Dallas International Film Festival for the last three years you've been with them. That's right, yeah. Um, okay, and I was on your blog and it's great. Go check it out if you haven't been there. Got a lot on it. Yeah, there's so much. Um, and let's talk about the film festival. There were 150 films. Yeah, they had, a, they had an excellent, excellent lineup this year. Um, over 150 films played over 10 days between April 8th and April 18th, which was awesome. Last year it was only nine days, so it was great that they actually got a chance to add some more days in. Um, and now it's Dallas International Film Festival instead of AFI Dallas. We used to have, or they used to have a, a partnership with the mm -hmm. American Film Institute. Now they've been able to go independent and do their own thing, and it's a wonderful opportunity for Did them. Did they say that like they went independent or they lost their funding? I no, mean, they it, went. In, they they <laughs> they went independent. It was a wonderful. Uh, it was a wonderful partnership with them. with um, AFI, and I think both partners really helped kind of establish it and make a really great um, opportunity for filmmakers in Dallas as well as within the Texas region. And we call it DIFF, right? They call it DIFF, yeah. yeah okay. Which is not to be confused with TIFF, which is the Toronto International Festival. <laughs> <laughs> or the, yeah, okay. Or uh, Biff, I, I used to date him. No. <laughs> um, how did you get involved with this? Um, in 2007, I, gra oh, I graduated in 2006 from college. In 2007, um, I was bored and they were having the first year of the film festival and I went and volunteered which is a wonderful opportunity uh, they have things all year long with the Dallas International Film Festival and I did that for that year and then 2008 I came on as a guest services manager and then last year I worked in sponsorship and this mm, year sponsorship I yeah like and then <laughs> this <laughs> um, and then this past year I actually just got to attend which was wonderful having worked for a film festival you never just get to attend and 
get to know all the great filmmakers and watch movies, which is yeah. And you've life. got a ton of pictures on your on your blog of the celebrities that were there, and yeah, Bill Paxton was here. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Amanda Seyfried, who's in that new film Letters to Juliet, she was here for the opening night, and um, Amanda Heard, who's an up and coming actress, she's from Texas, and we gave or they gave her the Star Recipient Award, which is an excellent honor for her, I think. Me. Um, what was your favorite favorite film, or how many do, were you able to go um, see? I actually, it was so exciting. I got to see ten films over um, ten days. Wow! So a couple and of, you're kind of a filmy. I am, yeah. yeah. But it's it takes a lot of work to yeah. sit and watch movies all day long. Yeah. It's, it's really tiring. And uh, but uh, my favorite movie that I saw was this uh, film called Brotherhood, which it was shot in Arlington. I thought they meant Arlington, Virginia, and they actually meant Arlington, Texas. Oh, wow. um, and it had uh, John Foster, who is on that show, um, Actually and Purpose, on CBS. Mm -hmm. He was the star of it. And um, another kid, uh, Trevor, who was uh, the little kid from Sixth Sense, not the not the main kid, but another kid. Uh, so it was really great because it's filmed in Texas, all Texas crew shot over 18 days and That's it's good. Wow. it was it's amazing that it's there's good for the Texas film industry absolutely yeah. yeah so that was my favorite movie it's really intense it's 89 minutes and it's like super 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 intense but um, and then I also saw another movie called we are the sea which was uh, a film about a guy who's trying to get back in touch with his family and it's probably one of the most beautiful movies I've ever seen oh. so there was some great other so I'll look for that we uh, we are the sea and brotherhood. Brotherhood. Brotherhood will be just I brotherhood. I've seen before with Clooney, and you know, they sang that song, and they were the hit, they were the hillbilly. Oh, brothers. Oh, oh brothers. Brother, yeah. <laughs> That's a oh, brother where are oh, now. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. Um, but Brotherhood yeah. is going to get distribution, and it should be out in the fall. So okay. it's wonderful for them. In, in actual theaters. In actual or? theaters. Oh yeah. wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's been doing really well. It premiered at South by Southwest and mm -hmm. won the audience award there, and it won the audience award, the Target audience award in Dallas. So they're pretty much just. Hitting all the did you go stops. to any parties? I did. They have an awesome. <laughs> I, I got to do parties every night, so I was my liver was very strong <laughs> by the end of the week. <laughs> well, and I have a question for you because um, now if, if people are following you on Twitter, you know you got um, Nerdy Perv is is one, and then you were also Real Vixen. Um, what's the difference? Um, well, Real Vixen, I started uh, about a year ago. Mm -hmm. Just um, my just as real r-e-e-l so movies right um and i just started it as a joke because i was always talking about movies and my mom was get, getting sick and tired of me talking about movies all the time so i started that after the film festival ended last year started doing that and doing movie reviews and then nerdy perv uh i launched a year ago well june of last year and um the difference is that one's my business and one's my passion and both of them, we talk about film on yeah. Nerdy Perv, but we also talk about sex and stuff. But uh, Real Vixen is really my film passion. It's my reviews. It's where I talk about my personal life and my unpersonal life. And Nerdy Perv, I just kind of put up articles. And, and it's it's a great opportunity for people who are trying to be, who are kind of nerdy, but then also want to read about sex and fetishes and stuff. And so <laughs> that's kind of those differences a little bit in there. Well, neat. Um, Kathy, I have a question. How did you find out about Nerdy Perv? Well, I think I... <laughs> That's what I would like to know. I was thinking about that I this morning. That. <laughs> well, you know what? I, 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 I read. I'm a voracious reader, as y'all know, but I just search the net all the time. I'm always pursuing, and I, so I must have looked it up and came across it. You must went, have uh, been one of my many searchers who was looking for beard things. Is it not? <laughs> we have a big beard uh, following. I guess. <laughs> and I saw beard. that on your, on your blog. You have, like, the beard it pictures. Have, yes, I love It may beards. have been you were the friend of somebody. Sometimes, you know, on Facebook, we mm -hmm. will come up and suggest somebody. And then you'll go to the oh, you their information. You perv and it came yeah, out. Yeah, it's you? okay. You don't have to. Don't be shy. Yeah. We don't like shy people. <laughs> but I 